we've moved up here, and I think it would be a good time to go out and see what I'd bought. Hmm. Because we bought on emotion. We didn't do any digging out there. Yeah. So I decided, George, you're taking all these classes. Let's go out and dig in the, your vineyard there and see what it's going to look like. Yeah. Let's let's see let's see what the terroir looks like. Let's okay, see what the terroir. I go out there. It's had a lot of rainfall. I can't get the goddamn shovel in the ground. Not in the ground. Yeah. There's a certain element called a rock. 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 Yeah. <laughs> So I get a guy come in when it dries out with a big ripper, with a big shanks like that. Yeah. And we rip this place from side to side and back and forth and up and down like that. So now the venue, you can hope you can visualize. It's just these acres of stones out there. Not to worry, Mike. George, you can pick up those stones. We'll plant the goddamn vineyard. Okay, <laughs> that's the plan. I find a D2 caterpillar down in Los Angeles someplace. And I didn't mm. have any clue what it was, but mm -hmm. it's an ideal for a small vineyard. So I take that D2 <laughs> with a trailer behind it, 530, and I go out and I'm going to pick up those stones and we're going to bet those vines we're going to plant this vineyard. You got it? Got it. So I go out there and I start picking up those stones. By noon, I cleared an area about the size of this table. <laughs> And suddenly, I could see that I had misbred, misunderstood what was going on. Yeah. Three years, 30 young Mexicans, two hernias, and a torn rotator cuff. <laughs> I've got all the damn stones picked up enough to plant the box. That's exactly my story, too. What I thought I could do in a week oh. took me about three or four years to do. That's right. And an army, oh. when you think about it. <laughs>